Hello everyone and welcome back to Pikmin 3 Deluxe and today it is currently daytime so I finally get to <laughs> be loud. I also don't know when anybody's gonna come home so I could get interrupted and be forced to record it like tomorrow. Uh, so that would be a huge shame. Hopefully that shouldn't happen though because I think I should get this down in two days. This final area. Um, it's the only thing we have left aside from the other half of the assignments but let's get into that. Let's get into this, sorry. I also want to do an individual vo video on each of the levels within the bonus modes. So, that will make for about 30 extra Pikmin 3 videos. Uh, though I don't have strategies fully down on those, so don't expect too much. Now, I've got to think, how much do I need for this? Okay, I'd like to put... 10 on that. I need plentiful yellows. I believe reds might actually be the... the outlier here. In what I need less of. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna want to get more yellows, I think. And rocks are useful, but I don't think they're actually going to be highly important. I'm going to pull out more wings and more yellows, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'd usually pull out 20, 20, 20, 20, and 20 on this day. But I'm not going to do that today. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay, just charge of this. Should go down. I'm going to throw as many wings as I can on that to make sure they all catch on to the cutscene. Okay, how many did I get on that? You'll notice I haven't forgotten my button mapping today. Seven, okay. I need three more on it. Or I would like three more on it. So the premise of this area is this guy's going to be chasing us the whole time. Brittany has a flag above her head, and this is basically saying the Pikmin carrying Olimar need to follow her, and they will follow her. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to bring her with us for the time being. And we are going to split her off in a little bit. But for now, we just need to... Make sure some roadblocks are dealt with. Oh no, that's a shame. There we go. I'm gonna send these all on here and then Brittany, this is where I like to send off Brittany. Cause, okay, this big enemy icon that is the plasm wraith that is what we're trying to run away from uh and that is gonna be following britney around because well it's gonna be following olimar around not britney so we're gonna leave britney here for now and then when it gets to a point when this gets to a point where we can start to move we're gonna move britney back over here and that is gonna be the core of this day is britney moving britney about whenever alf gets in danger Whenever Olimar gets in danger, I don't actually need to do that. Whenever Olimar is in danger, so that's the... Oh, I thought that was... They need to stop doing that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So now we transport Olimar, and we're going to bring him this way. We're never going to do too big a leap 
uh, forward or backwards, because then the Plasm Wraith can catch up by taking shortcuts. And we don't want that. Because if he takes a shortcut, that might block the road that we end up taking her across. Uh, now I'm gonna... I'm gonna carry these back, but I don't think it's actually totally necessary. I don't think I even usually do this, but... Okay, this is where we switch back. And we take Brittany back up there. And we I basically just send her in a circle throughout this day. This is on... Yes, this is on this side, so I'm going to... We're going to deal with this because when I eventually bring Brittany this way, he actually causes a bit of a hindrance if we don't get rid of him. So it's important I do get rid of him. Oh, Brittany. Okay. Hmm. Come, my children. Okay. He's going to catch up with them in no time, by the way, but it's okay. Hmm. So we're going to bring her here. And we're going to deal with this wall. In fact, I don't even know where the rest of the chips are. Ooh, I forgot about something, actually. Hang on. Something pretty important. Sure. This. This is going to expand Brittany's range. Or oh, that's what I use it for. And Brittany is actually in danger right now. So now I'm going to bring her up here. And this is a bigger route. And it should allow us more time. Hmm. I need to get rid of this. Really? It's fine. This is not what I needed all those yellows for, but... This is a use for them, I guess. Okay. I don't know why you're awake. Now, I'm trying to remember, is there a bull bear in this region? I don't think there is. That's a death. That's a few... Oh, my God, more yellows. Okay. What's in there? These are going to come... Down here. No. My microphone nearly fell off there. Uh, bomb rocks. Okay, good. I believe there's shear wigs over here, actually. Shear wigs are an enemy we haven't seen yet. And I'm glad there's a lot less of them in this game than there were previously, but... Not on the pile. Okay, these are the shear grub males. No. Down there. Fine. Yes, and then the shearwigs are on this level up here. There's not bull bear in this region. I'm thinking of a bonus mode, I think. Or did they replace them? Did they replace the shearwigs? I think they might have, but... Hey. I am not complaining. I'm actually going to bring her higher up a little bit. My Pikmin numbers are fine, by the way. I think I just need to not go down below 10 yellows. If I bring... Yes, yes. Okay. I'm missing reds, but I'm honestly okay with that. They're kind of... They're quite unuseful in this game, reds. What's this way? My grumbling stomach, apparently. Oh yes, this shortcut, which I never use, but... I'm going to use it today because... It should shorten this recording session. Uh, okay. 
That allows a shortcut right from entrance, basically. That's, I don't know why I did that. Yes, he is. Okay. No, don't go that way. That would intercept with that guy. We're going to bring them this way. And we'll eventually bring... Brittany into here, but... Not right now. We need to build this bridge. But... At the same time... Speedrunners don't build the bridge. But I'm going to build the bridge because I think it's very useful. And speedrunners obviously don't have to build the bridge because they know all the exploits and shit. So... And I... Whilst I am pretty efficient at this game... I'm not like a speedrunner, so... There. No, wait, they're gonna go... Across water, I think. So, those lot. How many wings? Eight. Okay, that's literally exactly how many I'm thinking of needing. Uh, okay. Hmm. A lot of these lights, these wires, are supposed to be accessible via, like, multi-captain puzzles. Hmm. So we do. Okay, we're going to bring her... Here. And then... These guys... Over here? Hmm. Wait. Those eight on that clipboard. Yeah. This is just so we don't have to do the clipboard later. Basically, those are the ones I think are better with wings and blues, actually, but we'll come back across those on the path. On the path this way, I think. But there are some blues on it, so they will take the shortcut, but it's fine. So we do. Okay, I'm going to go back this way just so that I can get those Pikmin. Hmm. Hmm. They really don't supply that much light, these... these mushrooms. Is that bridge done? Are there really no blues on that? Oh. I thought there would be, but I suppose not. Okay. Okay, we need to go this way with a multi captain puzzle. So we do. I'm going to bring Alf, uh, Brittany, all the way over here. I guess so. I guess so. I think that's enough. Yes, it's more than enough. And then bring these back. Please don't fall off. Thank you. And then that's going to allow us to come this way. deal with this guy this was going to be something that we were going to have to do mm, later but not anymore and actually I'm going to bring her 
with me? Yes. Yes. Hmm, I'm asking this with Brittany right now. And I... I'm going to keep an eye on her. Where are the Pikmin? They are there. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hmm. This is the full extent of the puzzle, by the way. And if our guy picks up with Olimar. The reason, sorry, the reason I put wings on Olimar is so that the, the winged Pikmin can carry him up on ledges and they can take really good shortcuts. Which it doesn't look like they're taking, but ugh. I suppose they need to get to the level on the ledge first and then they can take shortcuts. Which they're not taking. Oh, okay then. Well then. I guess not. Where are they? Ooh, that guy takes shortcuts, though. And he may cause a problem. But he's not going to. He's really not. Okay. So now... All we need to do is get them through here. That will activate the boss. The boss will be activated by tomorrow. So we don't need to reactivate it. And... That covers this day. This map is very unneedily complicated, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. And that has opened the boss, which we're not going to make an advance on today. We're just going to end the day. That brought all our Pikmin to us, including the two reds that we left behind. So they're fine now. And that is that whole area done in a day, which I struggled with on my first playthrough especially when I didn't even get to this day but no fruit in this area so no more cool looking juice animations lost quite a few Pikmin today but that's okay 14 isn't some outlandish number like that one other day that we got with the bomb rock and boss fight day so, uh, there's a few people mm, who recommend taking in all rocks and I don't actually disagree with that a, somewhat of a superpower in this fight, but I don't think I'm gonna do it. Well, I don't like doing it that way because then I lose a lot of rocks <laughs> Which I don't end up using again in fairness, but No, instead I pull out 20 of each and then I put away five Of The three main types and then bring out rocks in all of those left spaces. Mostly because they can't, the rocks can't reach certain phases. Hmm. 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 tend to lose a lot of Pikmin in this fight, but it's fine. Basically, you're going to want to chip away at him, damage-wise, and then eat up all of the... eat up all of the goo that gets chipped off. He can't eat rocks, which is pretty vital to know. Because to eat Pikmin, he pierces them with his, like, little arms. He turns them into little spikes, and he pierces them. But obviously you can't, you can't just pierce a rock. He's going to leave out those like elemental goops and we can chip away. We can destroy those. They will leave a bunch of goo and that's completely okay for us to chip away at. That's going to be red. Yes.
somebody home? My dogs are perking up. They're not with me, I just heard them perk up. Yeah, you can see a rock just pinged that straight away, but again, I don't like doing the fight that way. Oh, you can get that. You can literally swim. There we go. That's the thing that the, I'm thinking of, the rocks not being able to reach. I also like yellows in this fight, but you wouldn't be able to tell that based on how many I've lost so far. That's water. Rocks on that. Don't come back. Ah, oh, fine. Realistically, rocks are not going to die in this fight. Ah. Oh. That was bad. Oh my god. That phase isn't the worst, but it does suck. It's the winged phase, because there's not. You can't just make winged goop, right? You can't really do that, so. Come back, everyone. Why weren't you coming back then, you sillies? <laughs> oh, I thought that was. <laughs> that was my fault. <laughs> okay. Okay. Look, he's tiny now. Shrinkage. He's throwing out more elemental goop for no apparent reason. That's fine. Get him, please. Put the fire out, you silly bitch. <laughs> God, they really are like children. <laughs> okay. Blues, there's only eight of you. Somehow the rock goop is sentient. Stop coming back! Deal with that! I feel like they made the Pikmin stupider across, like, platforms. Please. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Alpha's nearly dead, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed this. But the captains do tend to take a lot of hits. Look, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh my god. Just... That... Are you kidding? There we go. Goodness me. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Hmm. Cube. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like you've been quite through, be, been through quite an ordeal, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm Olimar, captain of the SS Dolphin. Pleased to meet you. Louis is a colleague of mine, but he mostly causes trouble for me. I'll give him a talking to later. Do you think you could forgive him? No. I suppose so. At least he's not our problem anymore. Oh, by the way, you've been looking for this, right? 
the cosmic drive key. Now we can get back to Kopai. Hmm. Phew, what a relief. Hmm. This must be fate, Captain Novelamar. Hokutit is on our way home, so why don't we give you a lift? I don't know why he's so posh. I'd appreciate that. My own ship is sadly out of commission. Food! Food, food! Mm. Greedy twat. Alright. Look at the Pikmin. Do you think they sense that this is really goodbye? No. There's always more. We couldn't have done all this without those little guys. We owe them so much. Farewell, my comrades. Hmm. 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 Do you think they'll be okay without us? I hope so. But people at home are waiting for us. So then, let's go home. Roger that. Preparing to enter cosmic speed. Cosmic drive engaged. Was it not already? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Mm. And so voiceover man is back for some reason. The credits in this game, by the way. One of my favourites. Just saying. <laughs> I feel like people don't usually think of like, oh, I love the credits in this game. I love the credits in this game. Okay. Phenomenal. Hmm. 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 Brittany getting freaky. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. The theory behind that is that the plasm wraith, or the wraiths of this planet, just draw them towards the planet because they like the captains. There's a whole theory on it based on the Umibozu, which is some Japanese urban legend or whatever. And so my favourite credits in all gaming.
<laughs> Actual tears, by the way. <laughs> it's just so cute. Like, why did they do that? It's so cute. <laughs> It's amazing, everything about it. And did you see the person who did the vocals on that? His name is Babby? <laughs> I love it so much. It's one of my favorites in, I think it is my favorite in all of gaming. It's between that and Octo Expansion. Octo Expansion has a very good credit sequence as well, but it doesn't have a cute anime, well, it does have a cute animation to go with it, but it's not like, it doesn't have this big cinematic cutscene to go with it. And if it did have some cinematic, uh, like, animated cutscene, which is really adorable, I think it would be tied for the best credit sequence. But I think that is the best because it's just so damn adorable without needing to be. They didn't need to do that, and I like that they did do it. Literally watery eyes because of how damn adorable it is. But hey, we lost a lot of Pikmin on that day, but it's fine. I always do. It's not anything out of the ordinary. And still left with more than 100 Pikmin of each type. Which doesn't usually happen, honestly. I usually have, like, less yellows and reds. Because, honestly, they are the least important in this game. Yellows have, in my opinion, except for in Pikmin 2... Actually, never mind. Pikmin 2... Yellows were a very good type of Pikmin, but reds, historically, have always been second to last, in my opinion, in terms of, like, their usefulness. And I think that's become especially apparent... Sorry, I'm very hungry. I think that's become especially apparent through doing this Let's Play to me, because <clears throat> now that I think about it, they're probably fifth place in Pikmin 2, and they're definitely second place in Pikmin 1. In Pikmin 1, the most useful were blues. And in Pikmin 2, I'd probably say the same. With purples, I think they're tied. First place is tied with blues and purples. But that's it uh, for this Let's Play. I still have the rest of Olimar's tasks. And I still have the bonus modes, which I will be going through individually. Except for the boss mode. The boss mode, I'm going to do all of those in one day, but the rest of the side stories and mission mode is what I'm going to do uh, on the rest of these videos. But thank you for watching the main series. I have been unspecified, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao, my dudes.